Hello everyone, we're back with a big farm story. Um, one of my favorite games. One of my favorite games. So let's just go ahead and jump in with what we need to be doing. So what do we have on our plate? Um, make sure you have no one, not even the best disguise the cat. I don't even remember what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, we be cooking something for the cat. Oh, mercy. Okay. All right. And that's probably going to come after the cat. All right. So Sam's order. She needs melon. Oh my God. We got no melons, y'all. I don't even know why I took that. It takes two days. Oops. Um, Improved friendship with Lydia. So we, we can go give her some flowers. I think we might've planted some. We need to talk to Mayor Connor because we got friends in the last episode. And talk to Amelia and repair the barn. Okay. And then Nathan needs tomatoes. We did plant some tomatoes. We still need more pebbles for Amelia. And then we have to talk to Lydia about that ladder to get that pretty um flower that was in the tree. So I think I want to go ahead and take care of the animals first. Let's do that. So this must be um, candy corn, because we can't do anything else with candy corn. Oh, yay, Jelly Belly. Jelly Belly leveled up. So now they're worth more money. So we're not selling you. I wouldn't sell you. Feed. And snack. Uh, let's give you one of the good snacks. Oh, something is missing. A one. Oh, we don't have any. Nope, never mind. Okay, so we got them taken care of. Oh, look, it looks like people have come over here to help us out. Wait, did I ever get the, the wildflowers? OMG. Did I never plant the wildflowers or did I plant them and give them away? Did I forget to plant the wildflowers, y'all? I don't know. What are we doing with my life? We need to keep planted um, wildflowers so that we can gift them to Lydia. Oh, mercy. I really do need to start. Like when I say stuff while I'm recording, I need to write it down. I'm good at writing stuff down in between episodes, but this be messing me up. All right, so we can do the um the tomatoes. Let's go do that. And then let's go ahead and plant more, but I only have one. So I need to go buy three. That's fine. All right. And then water. I wonder if you'll ever get like sprinklers. I feel like at the farming game, like what farming game does not, um, does not have sprinklers, but we'll find out. Not what I meant to do. All right, let's get these carrots. And I wish you could cue things. Like if I could say, okay, you know, do these four and just do like click, 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 click. That would be nice. All right. I think from here, we'll head over to Lydia, then Amelia. Do we have any dandelions? No. Okay. So let's get, all right, so we need three to, oh, I'm broke, broke. I'm broke, broke. Three tomatoes. Can I afford? Ooh, I want this too. I want four of those. And then can I afford four of these? I can. Okay. So that should be everything. Four, five, six. Oh, hey, hooray. Fields of gold as far as the eye can see, Rita. 
right, so let's get these going. Not concerned about energy because we have plenty of uh, food to help us out. Two. And three. That's also the good thing about me doing two days is like, I don't feel rushed. So like if I spend some time doing the farm, I know we have like a whole nother day <laughs> to do stuff. So it doesn't bother me. All right. Ooh, let's head over here. And let's do our newly acquired wheat. A three. And a four. All right, let's head over actually to this barn first. Cause I forgotten what we need to fix it. Coin, oh crap, and I just spent some coin too. Okay, that's fine. We need 500 coins. That's the only thing really holding us back. So first let's see if we can do anything here. We can. All right, so let's go ahead and deliver that. Thank you, Packy. All right, so let's head to Shepherd's Farm. Be quiet. All right, go talk to Lydia. Talk to her first. I didn't know Hannah was so into flowers. Oh, she's loved them since she was a baby. I used to show her all different kinds of flowers and she'd clap and giggle. It was the most adorable thing. But why did you bring that up? Well, Hannah's making a new bouquet and I'm helping her out. She's found this beautiful, huge flower, but it's way high up in a tree. So she asked me to get a ladder from you. Oh, Hannah, she's way too young to be climbing trees, even with the ladder. It's too dangerous. Yeah, I figured you might say that. Hannah's at the carpenter's homestead. Let's go and I'll get her the flower then. For real? You are great. Thank you. But she should still choose her flowers more carefully. I'm afraid the prettier a flower, the less she pays attention to danger. Oh, goodness. Uh. Okay. So end conversation. And then let me see if I can give Lydia... Oh, we do have wildflowers. Okay, good for those. All right, yay! I was hoping we'd get to level two. All right, so fancy baby bottle. We got five of them. Awesome. So did that help with um, the Lydia thing? I don't know. Oh yeah, talk to Jacob. Okay, yep. It did. Hmm. Nods. About Lydia. Thanks for the great idea with Lydia. I think we get along pretty well. Yeah. It wasn't my idea exactly, but I'm happy to hear it. Nice to see Lydia smile again. Right, we got 100 points. We got four small gifts, two big gifts, and one huge gift. I have no idea what that means, but we can find out. <laughs> When a gift comes from the heart, size doesn't matter. But if the gift comes from the heart, but if the gift from the heart happens to be very big, I don't mind. <laughs> okay, same thing. So these can be given to characters to increase friendship. Okay. That's cool. What's this? Does she have something else? Oh, she does. A bookworm's favor. Lord, they be stacking up the quest in this game. Bree, would you mind helping me with something? Of course. What is it? Well, I've just finished this book that Amelia lent me. We don't have any books here, so I usually have to borrow them from other people. Oh, I didn't know you liked reading. I don't just like it, I love it. It's all I do in my free time. Lose yourself in a good book and ignore real life for a while. There's truly no better feeling. So, could you help me out by returning the book? I understand if you're busy. Not to worry, Lydia. Do you also want me to grab a new book from Amelia? That would be excellent, thank you very much. Oh, good. So I'm glad I came here um, first because now we can kill two birds at one stone. But actually, 
let's make sure we're grabbing these pebbles. We still need three more. Wait. Get pebble. I did. And we need two more. Get these pebbles. One. Come on. You gonna give me another one? No. That's okay. All right, so let's head over to Carpenter's Homestead. Kind of want to find that last pebble, but I'm not seeing anything, so that's fine. All right, Amelia, we got a couple of things to talk to you about. Hey. All right, so first, uh, about the, wait, which one? Wait a minute. I'm so confused now. What we need to talk to her about? Um. Okay, yeah, so gourmet theft. And then a bookworm's favor is the new one. Okay, and the pebbles is the love needs never tell. Okay. Hey. Let's do the bookworm one first. Hi, Amelia, I've come to return Lydia's book for her. Hey that fast my that girl is such a quick reader i wish sam would take after her you know she even read one of sam's magazines once you'd think she wouldn't be interested in mechanical stuff but she just wanted to read anything wow that's pretty impressive lydia also asked me to borrow a new book from you of course what type of book is she looking for this time shoot i forgot to ask her that now i have to pick one for her romance adventure mixed mystery I want to go with that adventure that she, you know, grew up here. So she loves reading about, you know, other people's travels and you know, adventures. Uh -huh. Here you go, then. Thanks. I better get back to Lydia. All right. Uh, and then this one. Shady. If this was your doing, I swear. Hello, Amelia. Hmm. Bree. Sorry about that. It seems Sam's cat was at it again. At what? Mischief, mayhem, plotting the end of the world. I see what the Shady actually do. Yeah, sounds like Shady. Aren't you a little overdramatic? It's just the cat. The No, let's see. I see what the Shady actually do. Must be her. My, fle my freshly picked mushrooms went missing from my store. Carrots, well, I mean, herbs, and now mushrooms. What a weird thief. Not sure I understand. Matilda had carrots stolen. Mayor Connor, Mayor Connor, some special herbs. I came to ask if the thief has been here too. It seems so. Uh -oh. Shady is enlarging her realm of terror, I see. Hmm. But scolding doesn't bring their mushrooms back either. I was planning a traditional family dinner. I can find new mushrooms for you. Oh, oh I wasn't even going to ask. You're so sweet. You weren't, but I... All right. I'll be back soon. Dup. Open up your mouth. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we happen to have them already, so we're good. Hmm? Did you have any luck finding mushrooms? Oh, we need one more. Okay. That's fine. All right. So actually, let's wait. Let's talk to Butterscotch first. Because Butterscotch has been dying to give us whatever it is he found. All right. So let's head to the woods. And get this last mushroom. Into the Woods. Has anybody seen that movie, Into the Woods? Is that that musical movie? It's so good. I love it. It's like one of my favorites. All right. So I kind of feel like... Nah, we, we, can, we can... What's the word? Gavage another time. Forage. That's the word I was looking for. A forage. Let's just give her what she needs. All right. Carpenter's homestead. All right. Hey. Here you go. I sure did. <laughs> Fantastic. Benny will be thrilled. Happy to help. Any more clues about the thief? Mm. I did find something. Feathers near my store. Shady doesn't have feathers. I know. 
but it wouldn't put it past her to, to have left feathers as a distraction. All right, Amelia, I'll check around, see if I can find more clues. Thanks, Bree. Maybe talk to Owen. He was out this morning and might have seen something. All right. So, oh, she gone. She disappeared. Talk to Owen. I was going to give her a gift. Hey, Owen. Oh, hey, Owen. I heard about the mushroom theft. Rotten affair, that is. Poor Amelia. She's devastated. Yeah, right. Any chance you saw something this morning? A blur. Hmm. A lot of noise. Some angry sounding squawks. It wasn't very big. I say some kind of animal. Had a dog could fit, but surely no bigger. I see. Seems I have to go interview Shady and Ezra. <laughs> Good luck with that. Really? Shady and Ezra? That's too funny. All right, actually, let's go, um, Shady and Ezra. Let's go do Ezra first, and then let's go home. Because we were supposed to make something, I believe. And I don't think we did. Where is like food? Like if we had food. Here it is. Fish salad. I think that's what we were supposed to make, right? I don't even remember now. Is that Ezra? It is. He wags his tail excitedly and looks at you happily. I thought I was supposed to be interviewing Ezra. Melon, Mayor Connor. Oh, I gotta talk to Shady first. Okay, that's fine. Let's go home. Oh wait, no, 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 no. We can go home this way all right yeah i hope i'm remembering this right because that would suck if i wasn't was it this yeah because remember we needed fish oil and yeah there it wasn't no fish salad it was fish on a spit yeah, I got the fish oil. Okay, yep. Remember to turn it around enough or else you'll end up with ashes. Okay, thank you. Okay, you know what? Can we make... We can make this. Well, I wonder how much that sells for. I wonder, wonder, wonder. Okay, let's make that. A good movie needs good chips. Otherwise, it, I can't really enjoy it. It would be just like riding on a roller coaster without cotton candy. You ride on a roller coaster with cotton candy? Okay. A dandelion salad? We can do one of those. Most of the people think the dandelion is a weed, but dandelions will add a je ne sais quoi to any salad. Use young leaves. Oh, and not to forget the flower. It is marvelous. Where? All right, can we make anything? Do scrambled eggs. Okay, so that's enough. And honestly, likely tomorrow, we can go. So oh, I want to go talk to the mayor. No, let's go talk to Shady now. Oh, where am I going? Yeah, let's go to talk. Let's just go talk to Shady and then tomorrow we'll do like um a town run. To go talk to the mayor, sell some of this food, get some points or whatnot. Mole Island. I really hope they eventually give us some type of like fast travel. Ezra. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Uh, about the clue in the woods. Let's do that one first. Hey, Shady. Good girl. None of that now. Look what I've got for you. <laughs> Doesn't that smell nice? Here. Come on. Oh, Shady's happy. Good girl. Thanks, Shady. Oh, great. Hmm, red fabric. What was Grandpa up to? Get over here, cat. She gives you a quick glance, but seems rather disinterested. Shady, will you admit to your crimes willingly? Blank stare. You asked for it. Time for a lie detector test. Try to give Shady carrots, clovers, or mushrooms. Clovers? Here, kitty, kitty. Look at these delicious clovers. Don't like clovers? You sure? Sneezes. No clovers then. Uh, carrots? Mmm, yummy carrots. Baby, don't you want to? Don't you want to just bite into them? Mmm, don't like carrots. No carrots. All right. Oh, mushrooms. Look at these gorgeous mushrooms, Shady. Sniffs. Yeah, don't you love mushrooms? Didn't you steal some earlier? You know what? I just thought, oh, so we were give. I just got it. We were trying to give her the three things that were stolen. Yawns. Hmm, no mushrooms. Fine. You don't seem to like any of these things. Or oh, you're a great liar. I'll talk to Ezra, but I'll have an eye on you. Yawns deeply. All right, so now we have to go talk to Ezra. Grab some mushrooms on the way. You never have enough mushrooms. As you can see, we needed it. Get those. And those. Okay. And that's not the way home. <laughs> All right, we can probably get this one last conversation in with Ezra. I think. Two Shepherds Farm. Ezra! Where are you, boy? If he wags his tail excitedly and looks at you happily. You look like you could eat anything. And you're the right size. Wags its tail happily. Did you steal from Matilda this morning, buddy? Jumps excitedly. Woof. Right, wait. What's this? Feathers? And there's a hole in this fence. I should tell Jacob. Maybe one of his animals escaped. Well, I don't see a hole and I don't see any... Fe oh, feathers right here. See this right here? There's feathers. Nods. Well, good day, Bree. How are things? Are your animals all right? Yes, thanks. Everything's fine, but I noticed the hole in the fence of your animal, of your small barn. The tracks of a food thief led me here. Carrots, some herbs, and mushrooms have gone missing. Oh, oh dear. That sounds like Frank. Frank. Al Gander. He's incorrigible. Has an appetite three times the size of his stomach. He must have escaped to find something to eat. That explains the feathers we found. We should fix this hole. Agreed. Can you bring me a few logs? In the meantime, I'll go find Frank. Gotcha. Wait, was that Frank um over in the uh the carpenter's area? Alright, so we got 350, 420 coin, and six potato seeds. Oh yeah, that. Oh no, that that's the, the the geese I was talking about. It's right there, dude. I saw it earlier. Go get it. Okay, oh look at this. Alright, so we need to go talk to Rita. Which then should probably complete this. 
Oh gosh, let's see if we can get some tea. I don't think we have anything to get melons though. We might be stuck there. The mayor, Jacob needs logs, 12 logs. Okay. And then we're waiting on the money to be able to do the barn. Oh gosh, we have exactly 12 logs. Look at that. Did you bring the logs? Yes, and it looks like you found Frank. Let's fix the fence. Well, that fixes the fence. Oh, a sad honk. I'm afraid Frank might be crafty enough to find another way out. Can't we just give him more food? I've tried this already, but maybe some treats could do the trick, at least for a while. I can bring you some treats. That would be very kind of you. Now we gotta bring him treats. What time is it? 8 10. He needs eight treats. I wish he told you like how many you had, you know? Like if it said like you know, whatever out of eight, I don't be knowing. What kind of treats? Like, do I have treats? Mm, I have five. Yeah, like I don't, I don't even know if that's enough. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. A fancy chicken. Ooh. If we got a barn upgrade. Then we should we could get a fancy chicken. We have enough coins for that. Mm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. All right. So how about this? Not gonna bother going to the farm. Let's just do some foraging, just gathering some stuff up. Check on these. We can do this one. Go ahead and deliver. Thank you. Yes, butterscotch. And chalk. All right. Awesome. Got some wood. Oh my gosh, butterscotch. You're on a roll. Thank you. <laughs> All this stuff. 920. All right, it's fine. Log. Oh. Log. All right. We're running. We got about seven left. Get what we can. All right, that's our cue. <laughs> Go this way. This way. Around 10 o'clock, it tells us it's getting late and we should go home. All right, go to bed. Oh, let's do one more of these. Uh, Wait for, oh, it hasn't returned yet. Oops, okay. Never mind. Go sleep. All right, so we got 675 XP and 450 coins. A brand new day. All right, so let's get this delivery out the door. And we should have are you kidding me? Four ninety nine. Oh my gosh! Thank you, thank you, Rain. Oh, oh my gosh! Thank you. All right, so let's take care of the chickens. Feed ya. Uh. Oh wait, 
Am I clicking on the wrong chicken? How do I get this chicken? Oh my gosh. Can you move? Can you move away? So I can get the right chicken. Oh my gosh. Just checking. Oh, there we go. Sheesh, that was a lot. <laughs> Feed you. Oh, we need to make some feed. And then treat. Alright. What, um... How many tree... Eight. We need eight treats. Alright, let's see what we can do in here. But we can't make treats. The only reason I thought we could make treats. All right, so we need some shred. Oh gosh, that's a lot of shred. Uh, 120? And then let's just make six, we get six feet out of this. Yeah, okay, 11's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Alrighty. Very happy about this. Um, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back to all of this. Cause we have, we have things to do. We have things to do. What are we doing again? Talking to Rita. We gotta check on this feed. What do you sell again? Nothing. All right, let's just go to town. Oh, look, Shady's back. Let's go to town. Do some town stuff first. We can always come back later. All right, so let's do some selling. Oh, hi. hi. Yeah. So cute. She said, oh, hi. Oh, man, if I would have um plucked those wildflowers, we could have sold this. That's fine. All right, so let's talk to the mayor. Uh. Hi, Mayor Connor. I made new friends. And here's the registration form Amelia signed. That's great news. I shall have been the first to teach you the basics, but never you mind. The main thing is that you find your way around. And remember, whenever you need help, you can come to the townlet. Your neighbors will be happy to help you. And if others have questions, you can also help. And while we're on a subject of help, here's some friendship hummus for you. Thank you. He gave me four and I got 50 XP. What do I do with friendship hummus? Uh -huh. Visit your friends and use the hummus on fields where something is planted. Oh, we did this already. Let yourself be surprised. If you want to know more afterwards, I'll be happy to answer your question. Okay. Cool. All right. So let's put a read of... Oh, wait. You, 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 you. Let's give you your tomatoes. Uh -huh. Do you have the tomatoes, Brie? Here you go. They're all fresh for you. <laughs> Thank you. They look splendid. So, you said you were making a basket? Mm -hmm. Yes, for Mayor Connor. He recently came by the clinic for a regular checkup. His results are mostly fine, but his dietary habits? Oh, dear. Not the best. Mm. You can say that again. Mm. Tell me not to worry, but I can't help it. When you're young, you may not really feel the effects of poor diet and lack of exercise. Not until you're older, at least. Hmm. Honor is no longer at an age he can simply ignore his bodily needs. His body's needs. He thinks walking around that fountain once a day seems like enough exercise. Mm -mm. And even with visits, he only sometimes manages a maximum of 5,000 steps. That's not enough. Oof, well, doctor, I don't get that either. Really? Ugh, I hate exercising. No problem for me. I love exercise. You know what? This is a game. We're going to say we love exercise. I actually do love exercise. Just sometimes I'm too tired. <laughs> but I try to push. I do better if I can go on walks outside. But if the weather's bad, then that's when it, it goes out the window. I'm happy to hear that. It's important to work on your body. Anyway, I'll be bringing this basket to Connor today. Hope it will inspire him to at least eat a little healthier. Would you accompany me? I noticed that you are good with people. Much better than me anyway. 
No problem, Nathan. Let's go speak with him then. Okay. Uh, talk to Mayor Connor. <laughs> what? You got there, Connor. This delicious chocolate Matilda just gave me. You want a bite, Bree? Connor, what did I say about sweets? Um, here, I brought you something. The basket full of delicious fresh vegetables and fruits. Delicious. Don't look so gloomy. You haven't even tried them yet. You really should change your diet slowly. That means eating far more vegetables and fruits and far fewer sweets. But I love sweets. Sorry, Connor. This is for your own good. I know, I know. I trust you, Nathan. Do my best. But you know I have no willpower when it comes to food. I'll help you out. You're a good friend. I have to go now. See you too soon. He doesn't sound too happy. He knows he should try to be healthier, but you are always on your your own worst enemy. Yeah, you are always your own worst enemy. That is the truth. I understand him. I love sweets too. I really eat sweets. I actually really eat sweets. I'm gonna say that. That's a good thing. Very exemplary. Back to Connor. I know he hides a few sweets in the town square. Can you help me find them? I don't want him to make it harder than necessary for himself. Her thing. Oh my goodness, now we gotta go on hide and seek. All right, well, how about this? Let's go talk to Rita first. We can finish this little mystery. We found this red fabric in the woods. Hmm, this looks really valuable. Maybe from a carpet? A carpet, but, why would, but what would my grandpa want to do with the carpet? Isn't this a bit thin for carpet? Yeah, I'm gonna say it's a bit thin. An important detail, you're a fast learner. So, oh, it has to be a very valuable carpet. Isn't it exciting to put the pieces of this puzzle together? All right. Wow, 600 XP. Ooh, did we level up? Level up, level up. Hmm. Now that we have everything together, it all makes sense. It does. You're about to spew another far-fetched theory, aren't you? I thought it would. You say it does. Yes. We should meet up with Matilda to discuss my results. She'll want to hear this. Yay, we love it up, love it up, love it up. Mm -mm. All right, definitely want a farming token. Let's grab one of those. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, my fields got boosted. Okay. Cool. All right. All right, so let's find these sweets. Here's one. Aha, uh -huh. I found the hidden stash, Nathan. Oh, it was only one? What? I also found one. How? Duh. Oh, darn it. You already found two of them. Two of them. There are more? <laughs> I can explain that. Well, you see, I've made a habit to have sweets on hand here and there. Children are happy when I spontaneously have something for them, and so are most adults. The only downside is that I like to snack on these hidden sweets myself. It's a cute idea to always have something ready as a surprise. Would it be better for you if it were either something healthier or nothing to eat at all? Ah, yes, you might be right about that. How about I help you get rid of all the unhealthy stuff from your hidden stashes? That will be wonderful, Nathan. Thanks. I'm happy to help you both, too. That's very nice of you, Bree. To be honest, it's embarrassing enough when one person sees all the stashes. So thanks, but no thanks. We can talk more tomorrow, Bree. I reserve the rest of today for Connor. <laughs> then let's go start cleansing. All right, Connor. Start cleansing. Okay. All right, so I already think that we're short because even if we get these melons, I just don't know if we can we can get him in time for her, you know. I just don't know, y'all. All right, so let's go head over here. All right, listen closely, for I have solved the mystery of the Walters' disappearance. Your grandpa's world famous cook, a world famous cook, but he doesn't want to be. 
So he hid here, but they found him. And now they want to hold a big gala for him with a red carpet and everything. What in the world? So he panicked, grabbed some materials and is now hiding somewhere deep in the woods. Right, ma'am. Yes, I know this sounds crazy. The clues were just not helpful at all. It could be anything. Duh, few for a, mo for a moment, I thought you really believed that nonsense. Disappointing, and you advertise yourself as such a great detective. Don't worry, Rita. I have some strange ideas about all the clues myself. Hmm. Let's 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 be like nice and let's just say don't worry because it really feels like she wanted to know, and I don't want to hurt her spirit. So let's say don't worry. Did we look at the letter again, Matilda? Sure, but we read it 10 times already. Let me see. Oh wait, it's the wrong way around. What? What's that? There's something written on the back. There is, let me see. You're right. Life is too short not to take risks. Right, Maddie? And thanks again for lending me your book on how to build hot air balloons. My book, I remember now. Walter did mention that he wanted to fly a hot air balloon. Hmm. He really should have brought back the book by now. It was my father's. Matilda, you knew all along? Well, Rita, I think we have our answer. This is great. What a story. But if he was in air when the storm came, the wind could have pushed him anywhere. The wind? Nathan would be able to tell which direction the wind was blowing that day. I think you might find your grandpa after all. That's awesome. Thank you both. And let's visit Nathan right away then. All right, Bree. Walter is a strong man. We'll find him safe and sound, I'm sure. Yes, and I got an achievement that says a mystery in three acts. And we got 700 XP. All right. This is looking good. What are you looking for? Nathan, I really need your help. Bree, is everything all right? Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. It's my grandpa. Walter, have you found him? I'm hoping you can help with that. It looks like he was in a balloon. I'm sorry, Bree, I'm not following. On the day of the storm, Grandpa took off in a hot air balloon. Oh no, I think it might have crash landed. That is very likely indeed. The storm was quite devastating. Is there any way to find out where he could have landed? Hmm, we need wind and weather data. There are data collection boxes set up around Chestnut Grove. But the storm appears to have knocked out three of them. I can start analyzing the data I have, but I need the other three data boxes as well. All right, I'll go get them. Where are they? One is in a townlet, one on the beach near Rusty Hook, and the last one on Mole Island. Hmm. Bring me back the, those three weather boxes, and I'm sure I can find your grandfather's crash site. All right, so we have another mission. Oh, and we leveled up again. So what do we want to do? To a construction token. Yeah. All right. So they said that there's a weather box here. Where? Like, what does it even look like? I don't even know. All right. Let's um sell our stuff first. Oh, 20. Whoa. 22 for chips. That's pretty lucrative. We should look into selling some chips, y'all. All right, so now we can buy some things. I kind of want to save for a refrigerator, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I kind of want to save for that. So maybe we hold on to these? No, but being able to... Man, this is rough. I want to save for that, but I also kind of want to, like, make things, you know? Scrambled eggs and mushrooms. Let's do this one. Let's just do one recipe. And then we can see if we need anything else. Yeah, let's do that. Let's find this weather box. Is this it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got one. We said one in the rusty hook. 
Am I forgetting something? Hold on. Okay, so these, this is the main quest right now that we're on. Oh gosh, one day. We should go plant those melons. Let me to use the friendship hummus. Those eight treats that I don't even remember how to get. Oh, in the barn. Okay, you know what? Let's save, um, let's save get, get in those boxes for, uh, okay, nothing here, for another time, for next episode. And save that. And for now, let's actually come up here, see if I missed. Oh, there are pebbles. Wait, do I need pebbles for that barn? You know what, before we give her these pebbles, let's first uh, go fix that barn. But I can buy fancy treats. But where do I get regular treats from? I don't know. And why am I trying to go home that way? Yeah, let's go do the barn. I kind of hate doing multiple things in one episode because then I have a trouble. I have trouble like naming the episode, but it's whatever. What up, y'all? Oh my gosh, I need seven logs. Okay, well, never mind. I mean, we can get some logs as we go, but let's just head to Mole Island and get um get that machine. One log from that. But we still need, what, six? And that was one. Thirsty. All right, let's just head over there. All right, let's find this thing that we have no clue. Like, I don't even remember seeing it. Like, did y'all? Let's just grab some logs while we're getting me and do that. <laughs> while we're searching. Oh, there it is. That was pretty easy. But this is a rather nice place to get some logs. Oh my god, we leveled up already. Interesting. Oh, Let's do another construction token. Because I feel like we'll want to um, use the construction tokens to expand the barn. All right. And, oh. All right. Um... You know, I also wonder, like, are they playing us? Like, once he does figure out this whole weather thing, like, are we really going to find Grandpa? Or is it going to be, like, the end of the game by the time you find Grandpa? You know, like, the end of the story, I should say. All right. So, I don't know if that was enough. Let's just grab. Oh, I can't do that one yet. Okay. So let's just head back now. That's not the way. Grab this mushroom because it's sitting there. Please, 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 please let that be enough. For the born. I hate it's raining. I think like it's messing up my ambiance. 
but I love rain in real life. Do y'all like rain in real life? I love it. Like, I don't like when I'm working, but if I can chill, oh my God, it's wonderful. Wonderful. Yes, we have enough, y'all. Here we go, bye. Yay. All right, let's go talk to Sam. Bye. All right, and then I think, um, Sam's usually over here. Yep. Hey, hey what's up? Uh, you're this one. I have good news. Jacob will take the calf. No, well, that's not very good news then. I'm going to take it. What? How? I repaired the big barn on my farm. I, you weren't through all that trouble. I don't know what to say. I'm always happy to help you, Sam. Yeah, I'll say that. Uh-huh, you sound just like Benny. Take it then. I need to get back to my machinery repairs anyway. I'm glad it's leaving. Take this recipe I am found and just make sure you take good care of it, okay? I will, Sam, don't worry. I'll let you know how it's doing. Great, I mean, sure, if you want. You could give it a name, I guess. Oh, look at it. Oh. But it's developed. Can't wait to grow up. Gets more care points from baby bottles. And then has one good trait, one bad trait. So what are we going to name this baby animal? Um, We said we were doing candy. So we did candy corn and jelly belly. It looks like a... Hmm. Can I fit... Cookies and cream? I mean, but cookies and cream is not black. I mean, we're gonna act like that's like that's black, okay? It's black and white. It's like your cookies and cream. And the reason why I say cookies and cream is because I'm thinking of the Hershey's cooking and cookies and cream, but Hershey's cookies and cream is it is too long of a name, okay? All right, so we got 90, we got cows for beginners, 200 coin and a cow. Yay! All right, so let's go feed our cow. Let's go, look at our cow. I'm excited, so excited. All right, Ashley, real quick. Um, Let's grab these flowers. And then we can do that thing. Not what I meant to do. And then let's, Cause I'm gonna forget if I don't do this. Oh, right here. The treats are stinking right here. All right, let's do four of these. Three, okay, yup. We're gonna miss it, y'all. We're not gonna be able to make it, but whatever. Oh, four. Does that mean you get four? Hold on. Bye. How many did we just get? Nothing like a melon on a hot summer day, sitting at the beach, laughing at Benny, struggling with fish. Ah, good times. What was that? I just, I, I missed it. Something flew and I missed it. Five. Okay, no, it, it literally was one. Okay. So, um, oh wait, is that the number of what I have? Let's try that. Buy one. It is. Okay, so what you have on hand. Okay. So then we need two more for the quest. And then I guess, oops, maybe get five more for us or something because we have to go give him the, um, the stuff. Oh, there it is. I see. CC's your nickname. I see. See the feed your cow. Oh, let's give it super, super serum. And then some love. Oh, wow. That super serum is powerful. <laughs> oh my gosh. All grown up cookies and cream can now produce milk. Okay. A good eater, but grumpy. Being petted is okay. As long as it's not too much. Wow. Cookies and cream grew up 
quickly, y'all. And now needs feed. Okay. Something is missing. A oh, I have to make. Oh. So there's a new kind of animal feed I have to make? Yes, there is. Okay, I need like a hundred and something. So, is that enough? No, I need four more. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, craft. All right, natural herb mash for a big barn animals. Aids digestion and keeps the gut bacteria happy and keeps the animals healthy. Nathan. All right. All right. So we need two different kinds of food or feed. One for our, I guess, chickens and ducks and then one for the cows and sheep or something. All right. So negative one, you, you get two milk, 18 happiness and 20 experience for feeding them. All right. Our cow is happy and we have to collect some milk. Okay, so our options, the size of the barn. Okay, so we want to do this. So logs, money, and then buying the upgrade. Um, probably using construction tokens. That's why I'm getting those up. And then um, keeping cows. Prepare your barn so you can keep the animal. I mean, I did that already. Keeping sheep. We haven't gotten there yet. But it looks like the only thing we're really lacking is like we can get this stuff, but we have to get the herding sheep token. And then same thing. I mean, we can get plant fibers. We can get all this stuff. We just have to get the, uh, that is too cute, y'all. Get the alpaca token. So, okay. Not too shabby, not too uh, shabby. Uh, Go ahead and deliver that. Awesome. Ooh, I can't wait till we can start doing this. Like, I wonder where we get this from. Like, did we get that from the mayor? I should probably take a look, because I don't remember. All right, so how about I do a little bit of farming while we have some time left in the day? But I think this is gonna kind of wrap it up. We did a lot. We did a lot. We we solved the quote unquote mystery of what potentially happened to grandpa. We think that he went up in a hot air balloon before the storm began and got blown away somewhere. But I imagine one of those areas that we can't get to yet will likely be um potatoes will likely be maybe where he's gonna be. I don't know. We got a couple more quests. We got the barn and the cow. So we are doing good. All right, so y'all are fine. What's supposed to be here? Oh, the wildflowers, okay. But let's do, let's do the melons, even though I know we're not gonna be able to, um. We're going to fail. We're going to fail that quest. Because I forgot about it. And I probably... I don't remember how many days we had when we first got it. But I think we didn't have a token to get the melons. So we need 1,250 coins to unlock this, this eighth field. So maybe that's next. Like, I want to always be able to grow everything that we have ac access to. And right now, we're short one. So, yeah. So, that's probably going to be on the list. Then we still have four more down here. All right. So, it's 10 o'clock. We should be getting the um little symbol soon. It's getting late. Yep. There it goes. All right. So, let's see what, what Butterscotch wants. Thank you. And then let's head on inside. All right, get to sleep.
right. Oh, look at this. We got a good day for XP. 3,665. We leveled up twice on that. Not too much coin, but that's okay. But we did learn melon, scrambled eggs is mushroom, and cows for beginners. That was exciting. All right, so it's a new day. It's a new day. So next episode, we can go ahead and head to Rusty Cook and get that last data box. And then that'll trigger this. To give it to Nathan. And then we can go uh, to a friend. We didn't do that this episode. Go spread some of this hummus. I did buy the treats. So um, I can go ahead and give that to him. And the milk actually, quote unquote, today should have some, the milk, the cow should have some milk for us. Then we got to talk to Lydia. Forgot about that actually. Talk to Nathan. Again, didn't realize that I talked to him again, but okay, I could have did that while we were there. We should have the pebbles now to go talk to Amelia and talk to Hannah. So yeah, so we can literally do everything that's on here. So yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a good episode. But anyway, y'all, all right, well, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed it, please give a big thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. If I see more, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.